I knew it was too good to last. What is it? Do you just have to go to the chapel tonight? No, it's Christmas we go. Midnight mass. Ah, but I thought you spent the night as well. No. Oh, it's just the same as us, well. We go on Christmas night too. Eh? Saves you again the next morning. First use. Half day go, aren't you? What do you mean? Well, I heard it was a terrible sin of a Catholic miss going to mass. Well, it's a sin. Well, it's not as bad as all that. They don't take you out and shoot you for it. Ah. But you're not supposed to do it. He's going to confess it, don't you? Aye. Aye. What's that for? That confessing thing. Well, if you come at us, then you tell a priest he forgives you. How often do you have to do that? Well, in theory, you're only supposed to go the once. Because you promise you're never going to do it again. It doesn't work cook like that. It's usually once a week. It's awful embarrassing telling the priest about all the things you're not supposed to be doing. No, he can't see you. There's a wee curtain up between you. What is this? Are you hanging a turning? No. Just interested. I like to see the Wayne's going to do on thing where they're all dressed in white. What's that called again? The First Holy Communion. Uh, I have seen that. The lasses are lovely. Their white dresses and their wee fails. For that innocent looking. So does your Peter go to that confession thing too? No. He does always confessing to the money lender in the bookie. <laughs> the only connection he's got with religion is standing up in Park Heat on a Saturday shouting against King Billy with the rest of the Egypts. Oh, did you hear? Maureen McCandlish is getting married. Maureen McCandlish? Getting married? Who's she getting married to? Some fella from Springburn, as far as I know. Anyway, that's what I was telling. Who told you? Tina Halfburn, the dairy. God, he'll know of his sorrows to seek him. I'll not be a white red in that. Yeah, they're a bad lot, them, so they're... It's well seen she had to go to the district to find somebody that didn't know her. Uh -huh. Has she not had a wane already? Ah, she was away for a long time, about two years ago. Supposed to be working down in England, but she was having the wane. You could see it before she went. <laughs> Got a boot telling everybody she'd have to go on a diet and still <laughs> eating sweeties. First I thought we'd come up the Clyde and a biscuit, eh? <laughs> she was seen standing at one of the corners at Blytheswood Square. She was not, was she? Aye, Bella McNaughton saw her. Because you know what Bella's like. Oh, aye. Hell of a woman. Aye, Bella saw her standing at one of the corners. Now, because Bella, she watched for about ten minutes to see what would happen. Did somebody pick her up? Oh, Bella says this fella went up to her and they were talking away. That's terrible. No, man. but wait till you hear. Apparently this fella kept shaking his heat. She must have been asking too much money. I wish there's no oil painting light enough. She's got a face like a coos ass. <laughs> what happened? Oh, Bella says eventually this fella just walked away, didn't he want nothing to do with you? So the bold Bella, she saunters up to him, you know. She says, hello, Maureen. Nice night, isn't it? Are you up for a wee walk? Bella says, a feast on pure purple. <laughs> oh, she says, hey, I'm just waiting for my boyfriend, so um, he's a wee bit late. You know your boys are hers. It's like Toby Morgan. Yeah. Eclair, eclair. <laughs> I only in her case is mere like clatty, clatty. Because <laughs> she's dying to get Bella out the road, you know, but Bella keeps her talking. She says, hey. Oh, and what is the boyfriend working? How long have you been going out together? Oh, she's pure evil, Bella, once she gets started. She says, oh, I'll just away him. He'll probably turn up later on at my mother's. Well, just at that. His sweet coolie going us up to him. You know, half one of the boats? Help! No. Ah, says to the morning one, you come jig jig on boat with me. The Maureen one says, oh, she says, I'm afraid I'm no like that. We coolie says, same price as last night, only this time you don't be so rough. <laughs> oh, I did it. What the devil did Oh, this? Bella got half her mark. She was being empty, so. <laughs> I wish she met her in the butchers the next week. She says, um, hello, Maureen. Are you still going out with the wee fella with the baggy trousers? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, she's a fucking fella. Uh, Imagine that, though. I'd heard the Maori man was hawking herself, but I didn't know it was true. That's horrible, ain't it? She's filthy dirty as well. Oof! They're all minging that mm. lot. Sanitary's never away for them. The feather he works to side Peter. Mm. You know what they call him? Huh. The Kerbolic. <laughs> <laughs> when he dies, I'll no bury him, they'll plant him. <laughs> <laughs> My brother was at school with me. I always felt awful sorry for him. He'd just sit by himself because he'd be silly He'd had his head all shaved and that blue stuff dabbed on it. But he's not a bad looking boy. You know, if he'd been turned out right. Oh, he was a nice looking boy. Uh, Are you trying to be Davy McAllish? Oh, aye, aye. No, the other one. <laughs> oh, no. No, the oldest one. No, Humphrey. <laughs> Could he look as though somebody sat in his face when it was still warm? <laughs> well, I'm in the morning one, take you to one another. <laughs> Have you been in their house? No. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't go in there. God, you want to see it. I mean, there's Nene has got that much money, but you can now afford a bar of soap, can't you? Is that as bad as that? Now, you know me, Dolly. I'm no one for talking about other folk. What was that in there for again? Do you know what I can't even remember what it was? Oh, it's my new Mahid. Just tell us. No, I'll say it myself. I mean, my house is Snake Palace. No. But how any woman that calls herself a woman can let a police get into a state like that? I've got this wee cat. It's supposed to be for the mice. I think it's for the rats. Oh, don't. I'm off his pair of these things. I've seen that wee cat. To be black and white one, isn't it? Ah, it's only got the one eye. It's a shame. It never gets fed. It's a bit hoaxing with fleas. Oh, it's called Lucky. Aye. Uh, well, see that wee cat? No kidding you. Had shit all over the flea. Oh. Do you know that that woman had just left it lying there? Well, can he tell you what the smell was like? I was bald, so I was. And then she says, Would you like a cup of tea? No. Now, don't ask me what colour he cups were originally because I couldn't tell you. That time my stomach was heaving, so it was. A, I just had to make an excuse and I left. You know that that woman says to me as I was going out the door? No. It says, My hand to God, Tori. She says, You'll have to excuse the mess. I have no get around today in my cleaning the day. Her ass and parsley. God knows there's none of us got money still and all the things we do have. They were bought and paid for working with the fruits of honest labour. And there's none of us would covet any special things that you have. Cause there's none of us are better than a good and decent neighbour. But we never will condone those who rob and cheat their own. No, that's not the kind you're wanting on your side. God knows there's none of us got money, but that's not the way we're going. Maybe we've got nothing much, but we've got pride. Be as well if you should drown, if you've gone and let us down. If your wings are no look after better hide. If we don't have some self-respect, we might as well be in the ground. If we've got nothing else, at least we've got our pride. You're not right, Mr. Feather. Hi, it's hot in here, isn't it? Here, you come and sit down. I'll get Tor in there. I'll give you a wee chance to cool down a bit, eh? Oh, thanks, Dora. <laughs> oh. I can do with a wee rest. Oh, I've seen the day, Dolly, when I could have rattled through the place and thought nothing about it. Oh. I'm getting too old now. Ah, you were always a good worker. I always liked to be working. Always enjoyed it. Do you know the McCandlishes? 
The McCandless is fit as pickings. Ah, they're up the top end next to the butcher. I don't know them to speak because I never go to that butcher. I always go to galleries. They've got lovely butcher meat. Oh, their mints is marvellous. Marvellous mints. Hardly any fat in those mints, Dolly. Have you ever tried them mince, Dolly? Aye, oh my. It's good mince, isn't it? Very good mince. I've seen you try to get mince for somewhere else. Just for a change. No. I, I go back to Galloway's. I've seen me bringing in mince for another butcher's. And I'll no say nothing to favour. But see, when I put it down to him, after the first mouthful, you know what he says to me, Dolly? No. He says, and I know he's going to say it. He says, where did you get that mince for? He can tell it's no Galloway's mince. He wouldn't have credit that, would you, Dolly? No, that's amazing. Well, that's my hand to God, Dolly. And the next time, I'll bring in mince for Galloway's. And, Dolly, this is as sure as I'm standing here. You know what he says to me then? That's Galloway's mince. No, Dolly, he doesn't say that. He doesn't know I get it for Galloway's. He doesn't know one butcher for another. They're all just butchers to him. You know what men are like. No. He doesn't say it's Galloway's mince. That's not what he says. Well, does he say that's better mince than the last time? No. He doesn't say that either, Dolly. Well, what the hell does he say then? He says... Can I have another dirty? Does he say that? I don't know. But that's what he says. Every time it's Galloway's mince, he asks for another dirty. Do you know why he says that? Maybe just coincidence? No. He's been saying it since I first bought Galloway's mince. How long ago is that? When they opened that shop, it's over 20 years now. And his eyes said, can I have another tatty? Aye. I think Galloway's mince must bring out the flavour of the tatties. Margaret, Doreen, what is it now? Do you ever get mince out of Galloway's? Aye. Aye. Right, well, when you put it down in front of Peter, does he ever say anything? Does he ever say anything? I don't know. I never listen to him. Right. Doreen, does John ever say anything? Aye, he does. What does he say? He always asks for sauce. He likes sauce, please, man. Well, wait till you hear this. Tell him what you tell me, Mrs. Colfeathers. <laughs> I was telling Dolly that I get my mince suit to Galloway's. It was lovely mince. There's hardly any fat in their mince, Doreen, you know. Aye. Oh, aye, aye, it's good mince. You know, like their mince, Maggie? It's all right. Tell them what Mr. Kilfeather says about it. Well, I was telling Dolly about how I, I get my mince out to Galloway's. But sometimes I get it at another butcher's, you know, just for a wee change. And I was saying that. When I get it out another butcher's, Mr. Culfeathers can I tell, even though I haven't said what butcher I got it out of. If I put men's down to him and I haven't got it out of Galloway's, he I says to me, where did you get that men's fee? You hear that? Aye, that's the... Uh... That's very interesting. That shows you what good mince it is. Oh, it is. Aye, it is good mince. Isn't it, Margaret? Second to none. Aye, but listen, that's no the end here. Do you mean there's mere? Surely not. Mere interesting than that. Aye, wait you hear this. Oh, I don't think you can top that, Dolly. But do go on. 
You know, I was saying that when I get in the men's fair, another butcher's mystical fair or I've got that, I've got that. Tell her what happens when you get the men's suit of Galloway's. Well, when I don't get it for Galloway's, I... He says... What was he doing? I just lost the thread. You tell it. You know what to tell it yourself. I think you'd be best. Look, off. Dolly, I've got a washing to finish. Now, what the hell are you on about? Right, right, I'll make it quick. When she gets the men's suit in another bush, the old man knows it's no out of Galloway's because he I says... Where did you get that men's suit? I've got that. Right, 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 right. But if she gets it out of Galloway's, what do you think he says? That's Galloway's men's. No! He doesn't say that because he doesn't know I get it out of Galloway's. All butchers are the same to him. Well, I must say, uh, that's nicer minced than the last lot. No, does not say that either. Well, what the hell does he say then? <laughs> Tell him, Mrs. Gulpenhurst. He always says, can I have another turkey? Now, that was worth stopping for. That's a funny thing to say right enough. Mm. It's just coincidence. No, that's what I thought, but he's been saying it for 20 odd years. That shows you it's good mints. But what does he want another tatty? I mean, you'd think he'd ask for more mints. I think the mints brings you the flavour of the tatty. No, I don't believe this. This is the stupidest conversation I've ever heard. to the same fruit shop. What do you mean then? Well, when you get your mince suit of Galloway's, do you get your tatties to the same fruit shop that you always do? Let me think, Doreen. No, if I buy my mince suit of somewhere else, I just get my tatties with the nearest fruit shop to wherever I bought the mince. Aye, aye. But when you get the mince suit of Galloway's, do you get the tatties to the same fruit shop? Aye, always. Are you get them for we, Mr. Jackson? <coughs> well, that's it. It's the tatties for Jackson he likes. That's why he asked for another one. It's nothing to do with the mints. How that's it. You've cracked it, Dorian. You hear that, Margaret? There you are, Mrs. Gulpethers. After 20 years, your mystery is solved. It's no the mints. It's the tatties, Mrs. Gulpethers. <laughs> I always thought it was the men. I wish they crash a chap of a bloody mince and ties. My ears is bleed for you. I'm going to get mince with another butcher's and tarties with Jackson's and see if he asked for another one. That's a good idea. I'll set your mind at rest. Dolly. Dolly, I'm no one to let Margaret be. I still think it's the mince. Listen, Andy, could you go wee half? Well, we're not supposed to, but... Seen it's the new year. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Popped into my stone and wanting me to know it. Well, I'm no promising, but... Aye, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come here. I'll make sure you three get first turn at the ringers next year. Oh, Andy, we're no offering it to you for that. But we wouldn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I lost the rag there, girls. I was out of order. That's all right, Margaret. Don't worry about it. I never thought nothing of it. Sorry, I shouted at you there, Mrs. Culpeders. There's no need to apologise to me, Mag. Why, there is. My mother and father brought me up to respect my elders. If they deserved it, you deserve respect, Mrs. Culpeders. You're a fine old woman. I had no right to shout at you. I just hope you'll accept my apology.
Thanks. Nearly finished now, Dorian. No long to go, eh? Aye. We'll never get a ringer, though. Ah, just give them a good ring out with your horns, and then you can stick them in front of the fire when you get hammer. In the oven. Oh, I did that once. Nearly set the house on fire. Hey, then. All right, girls. Hey, Doro, Doro. So, everything working all right down here, then? Apart from you, do you mean? So everything's all right. It's good. It's good, because that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Everything working all right, then? Oh, well, now that you're here, we, we all feel a lot safer. Must be wonderful to be a woman. Of a man to do everything for you. Oh, it is. Oh, aye, it is. Isn't it wonderful to be a woman? You get up at the crack of dawn, you get the breakfast ready for them, you get the weans ready and out the house looking as tidy and as well-dressed as you can afford. Then you clear away the breakfast stuff, wash the dishes, finish up the iron and tidy the house and maybe give the floor a wee sky hour. And then you're away to your own wee job. Maybe cleaning offices or serving in a shop or, or washing stairs. Oh, and then it's one o'clock and dinner time. Well, it is for everybody else, but no for us. We don't get our dinner. By the time you finish your work, run home, cook something for the wings, you're lucky if you feel it anything to eat. I know I don't. And even if I did, the dinner hour's finished. So it's back to work again. Well, that is after you've got in whatever you're going to get them for their tea. So you finish your work and you're back in the house. To mere work. Cooking again. Oh, and they'll tell you the chips is too thick and the mince is too lumpy. And, oh, then they're all way out. The wings to play. Oh, and the men to have a drink. Well, they need one. I mean, they've done a hard day's work. Souls. So you get the hoose to yourself. What do you do? You wash the dishes again and the pots. You catch up with the ironing and at last you sit down. What happens? The wains come up. Ma, can I get a cup of tea and some tea? Do you want some of that soup? No. A tomato sandwich? No. A boiled egg? A, a piece of spam? No. Do you want some toasted cheese? Well, no. Well, what do you just want? In at all. What are we? We're skivvies. That's what we are. Unpaid skiffies. Ugh, well, even if I am a skiffy, I don't mind. Because I love my weans. Anyways, it's New Year's Eve and I can relax, enjoy myself. And any minute now, my friends will be around with the black bun and the short breed and the dumpling. Oh, no, a small refreshment. <laughs> And then the weans will join in. A little tanner cake and the ginger wine. There's just just one thing missing. The head of the family. The doorbell goes. And what's stone in there? Waiting to make your evening complete. Your husband. Your better half. The man that was going to make you the happiest woman in the world. What does he look like? That. Who are you talking to? Marcel. Uh. Everything's all right, Anne. That's good. Because that's what I'm here for. Is that what you're here for? We was wondering. <laughs> oh, 
Don't blow up, Margaret. And come on, it's it's nice to be nice. Dolly, Dolly, tell her. It is, isn't it? I mean, it's nice to be nice. Certainly is, Andy. <laughs> Dolly. What? Yeah. Come here, come here. Oh, what? Right. This is just between you and me. Like, this is not for management here. Have a wee drink. <laughs> right, right. But, but, that's your wee secret, okay? okay. So... The bells are ringing. Where you go, you daft bugger? For me and my girl. <laughs> Certainly knows she how to keep a secret. Eh? Oh, you what? Do you need this on the What? No. Do you need this on the hand? Right. Leave it to me. Andy, Andy, shut up a minute. Shut up a minute. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you know any Jolson songs? Al Jolson. Rock of Iron. Oh, that's damn. Look at this. 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 Listen, listen, do you know the ringers? All the women are singing. Are you dancing? Are you asking? I'm asking. I'm dancing. Oh, he's awfully peaceful looking, isn't he? He's a nice big fella. What are we doing? Leave him there out of Herm's way. I'll take him out with us when we're finished and get him home. He'll never get home in that state. How are we going to get him past the front door? Aye, supposed to lock up as well. Aye, right enough. <laughs> come on, Andy. Andy! Andy, Andy let come get up, on. son. Get some Andy. home with him, Johnny. Oh, you need to get up. Come on, come on there. Get him on there, Johnny. Where are Dixie? Turn on the cold water, man. Oh, I, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> ah, ah, what? Ah, the nasty drink of the wine. Ah, <laughs> you may have up. Maybe it's something you eat. <laughs> come on, Andy. Come on, son. Oh, oh. Dolly. Dolly, if you could just see me in my office, I'd be extremely happy. <laughs> I'll look after him. I'll be back in a minute. Come on, son. Make you a wee cup of tea, eh? Oh, some tea and sugar in my locker, Dolly. What? I'll not forget you for this. I'll make sure you get first turn of the ringers next year. Ah, aye. Oh, well, right. I think Mrs. Coffeyer's a wee haunt to finish up. How are you getting on? You managing all right? I'm just finishing up now, Doreen. I'll get stall quick right there for you, right? I hope Andy will be all right. I'll be fine. That was lovely. Hey, Doreen. Oh, it was lovely. Oh, the women singing like that, wasn't it? Aye, it was Mrs. Coffeyers. Good fun, tea. Aye. Doreen, uh -huh. I'm going to ask Mr. Coffeyers to come up to Doreen's just for a wee while. She did ask me, so I'm not be imposing, will I? No, at all. She'd love to see us. That's um, I'll be fine now. Right, I'm getting hate to get the pasty frock on. You can't get us all done. Oh, definitely. Get all the makeup on, get the curlers out, bleach the moustache, oh, get the corset on, and then we do the perfume just to finish it off. Are you ready to go? 
Is that you ready, Mrs. Confederates? Hey, Mark. It won't be long before the bell Time just overtakes you Like today it just slipped away And old is old Happy New Year when it comes. Oh, 